Pregnancy series continues today, and with the birth of the babies just days away, Dr. Lauren is going to talk with our mothers to be about this final stage of pregnancy. We also have a very special guest today, expectant mother Jenny Poulos, who has a few questions of her Yay. own for Dr. Lauren. Wow. So you're, how, you're what, 30 weeks in? I am. 30 how weeks. How are you feeling? You know, I feel good. I'm very yeah. grateful. Yeah, getting bigger by yeah. the day. Yeah, last time um, we saw you weren't quite as big. Across. Yes, so pretty much travel is now done. I had my last airplane flight last week, but uh, you know, moving a little slower, can't really touch my feet anymore. So uh, that's so a progression. Mm -hmm. shoes. Yes, okay, yes. Perfect. I'm not pregnant in heels. I am rocking in flats. I mean, that's just awesome. what's happening. So. And you're you're waiting to find out the sex of the baby. Yes, we are uh, having it be a surprise. And why so, is that? Um, you know, there's not many in life, and uh, our parents obviously didn't have the luxury. So I figure, why not? And we have both boys and girls' names chosen. And I'm not a super planner, so I think it will be exciting. You know, it's driving some of my family crazy, especially my sister has three boys and wants a, it to be a girl. So we'll of course see. she does. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Oh, look at the. There's a picture there's of the, the baby. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was. Oh, she uh, has your eyes. Back. She has your eyes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. What has surprised you about the process? Being your first, Rosanna's second. You know, but, but yeah. for you being the first. I know, and you're so close. I. Uh, I've enjoyed it, I have to say. I, I, I think it was, uh, for all those moms or moms to be out there, easier than I had expected. And oh, that really? may just be that I am lucky, but I say, go for it. You know, yeah. bring it on, have a child. Yeah. I say, yeah. let's do it, rock the bump, own it. You know, besides being uncomfortable at night, I think right. sleeping is a little more challenging. Mm -hmm. And you said, you mentioned not getting, feeling the kicks so much. Right, I've started to actually, in the last week, it's really started okay. to rock. So that was, I was starting when I actually talked to you guys before, thinking that I wasn't really feeling them. And then lately it's been, it's been strong. Is that common, doctor? Very common. It can depend on the location of the placenta. If the placenta is up front, you may not feel the kicks as soon as if it's behind. Yes, one kick the other day was like, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> you know, so then there's been a couple grand kicks. Yes. Well, that's listen to Paul Anka's music, My mm -hmm. Way, and was just doing it. Her I know, yeah. and Bobby's jokes. I got yeah, a little. Yeah. I got one for that. So, well, Rizan, you're you're also very pregnant, and very. yes, <laughs> which um, is a polite way of saying a, what? Which is a polite way of saying you're very pregnant. And uh, how are you feeling? What's going on? Keep us up to date with everything that you're. Well, in terms of right now, I am officially beyond ready. So I'm very excited about, you know, the next week and a half. The countdown is, yes. has arrived. <laughs> and you've decided to be induced, right? Well, it really wasn't my choice, but there's no way in the world that I'm going to fight that battle. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm actually pretty excited about being induced. It just kind of makes me feel like I'll be a little bit more in control sure. over the pain. Why inducing? Well, mine is considered a high-risk pregnancy because of the gestational diabetes. Okay. So um, they decided to induce me just a week early at 39 weeks. And so, doctor, how, what does that what does that mean for the you know person watching when they say they're going to induce? Is that a warning sign? Is it is it just saying that they're at 39 weeks? We know the baby's lungs are mature, and it's not. Um, as dangerous to induce at 39 weeks. Whenever we schedule an induction, we have to make sure that the risk of the induction is outweighed by the benefit of delivering the baby. And in the case of gestational diabetes, often at the 39 week mark, we feel that that risk benefit ratio is such that the baby should come out. Um, we don't do inductions before 39 weeks unless it's really medically indicated, possibly gestational hypertension, the diabetes, small growth, something else that might force our hand. Mm -hmm. And with an induction, it's similar to a regular delivery. You contract, you dilate, you push, you have the baby, except for that we kickstart it. Get along. Is it? Does it mean the process, the delivery, delivery will be quicker or anything? It does not. It does not mean that it will be quicker. Actually, it may even be a little bit slower because we have to get the ball rolling, whereas sure. if you come in in labor, you're already that much farther along when you arrive. When you come in for an induction, we give you some type of medication either through your IV or in your cervix to mm -hmm. get the contraction started. 